we sign up, let's see who the other competitors are. Hello! Are you here to compete in the Crux Clash? You bet I am. Have you put your names down yet? Well, I'd have a look at the entrance criteria if I were you. Then it'll allow just anyone to take part. The Clash is a comprehensive test of fighting ability. Anyone who turns up for show over skill is gonna get their butt handed to them. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, right? Uh, yeah, we heard a rule about that. So, Paimon's wondering, are you a renowned fighter? <laughs> Me? Only a former runner-up in the Tsuhu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh yeah. Doesn't sound like the most official tournament out there. Hmm. What? You... Nonsense! Have you been living under a rock? It's been going on for years! There were plenty of competitors when I took part. Not to mention, I've helped the Millilith catch treasure hoarders before. There were two of them trying to escape. I soon sorted them out. They tried to sneak past me under the cover of darkness. <laughs> they didn't know what hit them. I planted a left hook on the skinnier one's face and sent him flying. Then, the big guy pulled out a knife! I stood my ground, of course. A roundhouse kick sent the blade hurtling into a beam above us. <laughs> I told you. Unarmed, outnumbered two to one, but I still got the upper hand. I'm not saying I came out completely unscathed, of course. But the fact remains that I did manage to subdue the both of them. And hand them over to the Millilith. I received quite the commendation. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. But for us, even four or five treasure hoarders at a time is all in a day's work. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna keep looking around. I'll see you in the arena. <laughs> but I don't plan on losing to a pair of children anytime soon. Beta said that they had to be renowned fighters. Hmm. Who will we be up against? Hi there! Are you here for the Crux Clash too? That's right. Nothing beats real-life combat for honing your skills. That's what our master taught us. But this tournament is more than just a chance to put training into practice. It's also a chance for us to obtain the masterless vision. Exactly! With a vision, we'd quickly become our master's top students. This master of yours must be pretty incredible, huh? Are they someone famous? Famous? He's the founder of the Ling Shan clan, and his skills are unparalleled. Liang and I are both proud disciples of his. You probably wouldn't have heard of it. It was founded quite recently. The clan is nowhere near as famous as the master himself, anyway. He's got to be a grand master or something. He's created many different styles of Kung Fu, and countless other clans have borrowed extensively from him. To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as Force Dispersal. Force Dispersal? It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. For example, our master can use it to alter the path of an attacking fist, or change the direction of an incoming stone, all without breaking a sweat. One time, he sent a challenger flying into the air without lifting a finger. It sure is, but it's extremely difficult to cultivate this ability. We've been training for ages and we're still getting to grips with the very basics. There's no way we could use it proficiently yet. <sighs> we're clearly not that naturally gifted, or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. If we don't start making progress soon, We'll probably run out of money to pay the tuition fees, and still have nothing to show for all our training. There's a tuition fee? Of course! This is a Grand Master we're talking about here. He doesn't have time to waste. If you want face-to-face -face training, you've got to show you're sincere about it. <sighs> but here we are, having trained under him directly all this time without even a hint of improvement. Master is getting increasingly impatient with us. Recently, though, we heard that a vision bearer joined the Guhua clan and made pretty much instant progress in their training. So, if we can get our hands on a vision too, maybe we can finally make our master proud. 
Well, we have to try something new. Otherwise, we're stuck in the same situation. Exactly. It can't hurt to try. And if it turns out it does work, the Ling Shan clan will go down in history. Folks will come from far and wide. Heck, we could even become the dominant martial arts clan in all of Liyue. See you in the arena. Hey, youngster. Are you here for the Crux Clash, too? If so, seems I've found myself another new adversary. So you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could walk away as a champion. For me, obtaining a vision is the final and most important piece in the puzzle that is my life. No, no, no. It's not about what I want to do. This is about who I want to be. I am looking to become a perfect person. I know how that sounds, but let me explain. I've lived a successful life so far without any setbacks. I've passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business ventures, and seemed to get on with just about everyone socially. In most people's eyes, I am already the very embodiment of the perfect person. Though, of course, <laughs> I'd never let the praise get to my head. I know I haven't reached perfection yet, because there's one thing I'm still missing. A vision. You have so much self-confidence. That's not important. I have a contact in the Crux fleet who was happy to vouch for me. So they very kindly made special arrangements on my behalf. I've also brought along a bit of an entourage for moral support. It's such a blessing, really, to have so many good friends in my neighborhood. Of course, I also put in a few good days' practice, concentrating mostly on rare and esoteric styles of Kung Fu. As a high achiever by nature, I'm confident I've done enough to guarantee my victory in this tournament. <laughs> I seem to have gained another fan. Don't let my aura overwhelm you, though. You'll need your wits about you today. Now then, if you don't mind, I need to finish my pre-competition routine. It's not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. So, to recap, we're up against an inflated ego, some gullible guys paying way too much for their kung fu classes, and another guy who's just... really average. Hmm... Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. Come on, let's go sign up! Chinks a village arm wrestling champion, huh? <sighs> Alright, you're signed up. Next, please. What's your name? Wait, uh, aren't you? Oh, did I hear that right? Is it really them? Uh, huh? Aren't they a vision bearer, though? Why are they trying to enter the clash? Uh, I, I have to ask. Aren't you the traveler that helped Liyue fight off that ancient god? It's really her! The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the Rite of Parting! Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get her autograph later! I trust you are aware that, uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament? Really? But, but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, uh, even the Fatui, and always come out on top. Yep, she still doesn't have a vision, though. See for yourself! Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? Uh, it's just a formality for you, of course, but I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. So far, I've got... Defeated the Ancient God Osail, so that's one. Do you have any others? Yeah, put that down! And also, defeated the Fatui Harbinger Child! Whoa! Might as well declare her the champion already. 
I wonder if it's too late to withdraw. Okay, um, that's plenty. Actually, this is the most dazzling track record I've ever seen. By a long shot. Right, your registration is complete. Now, a brief word about the prize. A great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. To win the tournament and claim the grand prize. Namely, a vision. Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. There's another prize, too? Oh, first I've heard of it. Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere as dangerous as Inazuma? I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance, then? Well, nobody expected you to sign up to a tournament like this. I, I can hardly believe it myself, to be honest. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. I'll leave you to your preparation. Hey, so Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision bearers rule in this tournament. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tevat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during the tournament. You know, just to avoid any misunderstandings. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be pretty easy for you to win, even without using any elements, right? All right, it's showtime! You got this! You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? Good, then please follow me into the arena. Our next competitor is seen by many as the favorite to win this tournament. Her first bout begins now! Y you You're the hero they're talking about? What a strange guy. Why was he so confident to begin with? Well, now that we've won, let's go and see Beto. She'll probably have something to say to us. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. So, what do you think, Kazuha? She totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. Impressive. But I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, as if to protect the opponent from serious harm. Well, I fought my fair share of battles both big and small. And I say, after the show she put on just now, she's more than convinced me of her ability. So come on, we all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. You fought well. Ah, all right then. I was thinking your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but... I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. You know, a lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liyue's hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top-tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too, right? So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Huh? But we only just started the qualifiers! Seems like a crazy system if we just skip straight to the semifinals! This is how Captain Beto works. You won't persuade her otherwise. Besides, at your level, you would have made it to the semifinals anyway. Huh. To be fair, Haima was thinking that too. Alright, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. We're finally here, folks! The real show is about to begin! <laughs> 
The captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I have not seen her so excited in quite some time. Your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. This makes him a seasoned warrior. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit-chat for now. The audience is waiting. Go find the crew member that signed you up. She'll take you into the arena. Your opponent in the semifinals is new to the Crux Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. I do not doubt your abilities, but I would suggest that you make sure you are fully prepared before you begin. Relax! My girl's at the top of her game! She ain't gonna lose! Okay, follow me. What you got? At last, the moment we've all been waiting for. The semifinals have begun! Who's it gonna be this time? The hero or the dark horse? I don't care about the prize. You're a strong opponent. That's what I'm here for. I'm sweating all over. It's a good feeling. Congratulations. I was beaten by the best. I need to train harder. Right! For a moment there, Paimon was a little worried. If you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. I wanted a vision once, when I was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, you'll have your chance to get one. But mine never came. I lost interest eventually. You can't depend on a vision like you can your own body. I've fought and won against vision bearers before. The power they have was given to them by the gods. I don't envy it. Huh? You mean you didn't sign up to try and get your hands on that masterless vision? No, I didn't. I only wanted to pit myself against other fighters and see who was the strongest. Only in defeat can you understand your weaknesses and learn from them. So I'm pleased with today's outcome. I don't often have the pleasure of experiencing defeat. Wow! Now that's true strength talking! If you have the chance in the future, please come and spar with me again. I will be stronger next time. Uh, uh by the way, do you know who else made it into the finals? Is it gonna be someone even tougher than you? Whether they'll be as tough as me, I don't know. But what I have heard is that they're extremely quick. So don't get too cocky. There he goes. Maybe we should ask around, see what we can find out about our opponent in the final round. Paimon thinks we might need to up our game a little. Ah, it's you! <laughs> I watched your match. What a stunning performance. I myself was eliminated in the third round. <sighs> Shame. If only I could have advanced one more round. Aw, uh, maybe next time, huh? Uh, by the way, do you happen to know who else advanced to the final round? Why, yes. He's the same one who defeated me. He is a formidable opponent, quick on his feet and swift to take advantage of his opponent's missteps. I faltered for but a brief moment, but before I knew it, he had me on the floor. Given my stature, I have no fear of squaring off with physically strong opponents. But faced with a nimble, agile opponent such as him, I found myself completely out of my league. Still, I'm sure he'll be no match for you. <laughs> hey there! Uh, well, where did the other guy go? He tried to use force dispersal to deflect a punch, but instead he took it straight to the nose. There was blood all over the place. His opponent was pretty freaked out by it. He kept asking him, why didn't you dodge? But he was pretty much out cold by that point and couldn't reply. Why don't you dodge, they ask. 
because to not dodge is the very essence of Ling Shun Clan Kung Fu. It's just that he hadn't quite mastered it yet. Don't even get me started. I spent all my energy helping him get from here to the boat to take him back to the harbor. But by the time I got back, my scheduled match time had already passed and I had to forfeit. I don't dare tell my master about this, otherwise I'd never hear the end of it. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining in front of you like this. I'm afraid I'm still a bit out of sorts at the moment, so I probably won't be able to help you with whatever you were here to ask me about. Oh, alright then. Hope your buddy makes a swift recovery! Hang in there! Thanks, I'll do my best. <sighs> we still haven't got any useful information yet! Maybe we can go talk to Beto! Surely she's gotta know something! You gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. I could sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind. And it could have cost you the match. But you were quick to adapt, and managed to claim victory over your opponent. That is a most invaluable skill. In fact, I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet, and the pattern of your breathing. But it is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? We wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. What's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? I haven't properly introduced myself yet. In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. Uh, yeah, we could tell that from your getup. But at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess, but I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Given your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Hang on, don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha! Huh? Wait a second. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt. <laughs> Does one not leave a trail when traveling through the wild? In return, nature also leaves its traces upon you. However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Come with me. Some post-match entertainment is in order.
Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements. And not just a single element, but multiple. Is that correct? Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met! You've known all along! That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say... it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision, and not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Ah, uh, it's nothing really. Paimon just told her whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, she just naturally learned to use the elements through it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? Begin. Hmm. 
Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, and what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. So that's what you're curious about? Then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably, sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. In the outset, supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new Electro Visions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? With time, we will change. But the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Very well. Let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision.